Hello and welcome everyone. This video is for part two of my basement pantry wall mural. If you missed part one, I will link that in the description and in the cards and the pinned comment. It was almost a year ago when I did part one. Time flies. Anyway, this time around I added some food drawings around the lettering and then I outlined the lettering and the food drawings in black as well. So everything is much more visible now. But before I show you the process, let's do a quick intro for those who are new to the channel. Hello, I'm Shannon, owner of Shrush Design. I specialize in hand-lettered and illustrated designs for things like signage, murals, invitations and other stationary, digital graphics, and more. Here on YouTube, I make tutorials of how to do these projects, my methods, the tools I use, and the software I use on a regular basis. For anyone who may be interested, I now also have a free companion course to go along with these videos here on YouTube where you can get access to additional notes, any digital downloads you may need, extra practice, and the direction of where to go once you master the tutorial. You can find that link down in the description or just go to my website www.shrushdesign.com and look for the online courses section. Okay, let's get on with the tutorial. Alright, so welcome back to my basement pantry mural. So. My plan is to do some food drawings kind of around as a surrounding, around it. And I'm also going to do another coat of white on the lettering here. And I decided I'm also going to do an outline in black. So I'm going to do the, the first coat on the white first, let that dry, so then I can do the black when I'm done doing the food. For the food, uh, I'm just going to chalk on what I want. And then I'm going to go over it with paint. Um, last time, if you remember, I'm going to link the video, but on the first part of this mural, I had trouble transferring my design onto the wall because I had it on paper all drawn out. And the chalk transfer just wasn't working. And I don't know if that's because of the color of the wall or the sheen of the wall, but chalk works. Like I can see chalk fine. It's just. For some reason it wasn't transferring onto the wall so I had to like cut parts of the paper off and peel it back and kind of draw in where it was supposed to be and then I filled it in with paint. It was kind of a pain <laughs> so I'm not doing that again. I could have maybe done the pouncing method that I talked about in my layout transfer methods video. I'll link that as well. I could have done that. I just didn't get around to drawing things out on paper first so <laughs> it's originally part of my plan to do that, but I didn't, so I'm going to be drawing it now, and then in a more temporary way, and then I'm going to paint it on, because I'm not that great at drawing on the fly, necessarily. I do lettering, pretty much, just not. The other thing is, I still have chalk marks. Uh, I think I used my Stabilo all, actually, on the wall that I never took off from the first time I did this, but they're kind of barely, barely visible. Um, unless you're looking for them, I am. So I'm gonna get those off as well. But also, the other thing, you can see I have shelves back here. I'm not taking them out this time, so I should be able to move around and I should be able to, like, it was hard enough getting an angle right with the filming last time when this is empty and it's even harder this time, but hopefully I'll be able to show you what I'm doing and the lighting is good enough back here. Otherwise I can bring my other light in too, I have. But anyway, so what am I doing? I am drawing more food. I'm gonna first do another coat of white on here because it gets kind of light in some spots. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna outline it afterwards. That'll probably be the last thing I do in black just so I can see the words better. Um, I mean, I like the way this looks the way it is. I might outline the food in black too. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. But they'll start off in white like this. This does have like a kind of a half shadow with the gray. I'm going to keep that, obviously. But I'm not going to outline it or anything. I'm just going to outline the white part. And that's going to be like a shadow. So I think that's all I'm doing, yeah. Starting off doing the white. Another coat. And then going to chalk in some food around here, I'm gonna get rid of the guidelines I have up here. And then then I'm gonna do the 
outline in black on these letters and possibly on the food as well, I'm not sure. Chalk in the food and then paint it and then do the outline. So anyway, let's get started.
tight back here, but I'm gonna try to show you what I have sketched out. Some of it has to be erased around it, but give you an idea of what I have. I guess I'll start over here. Hard to see. This is an avocado, ice cream cone, cheese, grapes, bread, croissant, a drumstick of some sort, chicken or turkey, I don't know, something like that. Chicken and waffles, let's say that. So that's a waffle. Cherries. Bacon and eggs. A muffin or a cupcake. <laughs> Whatever you want. Uh, this is a bottle of vino wine. I have a piece of cake here underneath. Let me move over here. It's a pumpkin. This is an eggplant. These are some cookies. This is supposed to be a donut. Lemons and a lemon wedge. Broccoli. Fish. Corn. Chili pepper. Kind of looks like a banana. But it's chili pepper. This is supposed to be a bell pepper. I need to. I needed to move it up a little bit, so I'll fix that when I paint it. <sighs> a carton of milk. Lettuce. Garlic, best part, pineapple, and then pizza, because, you know, they're a match made in heaven. Put that in there to annoy my husband, really, and anyone else who doesn't like pineapple and pizza. Uh, mushroom, carrot, and we're back to the bread over here. So that is what I have on the wall. So I'm going to paint all these in, and then I'm going to do the outline on the lettering. And then I should be done.
All right, everyone, that's it for this video, but heads up, I've still got some bonus footage and sneak peeks coming up shortly. First of all, though, I want to thank you, yes, you, for watching this video. I do really appreciate it. If you appreciate me back, the best way to show me is to use those buttons on YouTube. Subscribe is the best one, but the other ones work great, too. Always check the video description for any updates, announcements, and any relevant links you may need. These are my official social media accounts and other channels for you to check out. Don't fall for any scams or imitations. All of these are linked in the description and also on my website, www.trushdesign.com, as well. Now here's that bonus footage I promised. All right, for bonus footage this week, I have a quick assistant Chaz clip and a clip of me trying to get creative while filming in such a tight space. Obviously, that was edited out for the final video version. We're not going outside today. We were already out this morning. It's cold out. I'm going to be down in the basement working on my pantry mural. You want to help? No? Pretty soon we'll work on the Halloween mural outside. Got to find your leash. Yeah, so I don't have to watch you. Come on, you want to go downstairs? We're going to bread somewhere, obviously, but probably over there somewhere. Um... I don't know if this is smart. need to get a harness, right? Look how messy that is back there. That's why I don't want to move everything. You know. <laughs> as long as I draw at chest level, I can do this. All right. Uh, let's see. What was I going to do next? I'm going to do a tomato, obviously, at some point, but probably somewhere else. What other vegetables are there? Broccoli, cauliflower, cucumbers, pickles. <sighs> I need something. You know. We're gonna do a bottle of wine somewhere, but not here, because I got grapes here. I can't do grapes and wine next to each other. It's bad enough I have the cheese and the grapes next to each other. You know that already. I feel like I'm gonna tilt this actually more. You know what? I'm gonna redo it. I want the cheese to go like this. Can you see? Oh, you can kind of see. That's nice. And then I'm trying to decide how I want the wedge to go. Tomato, cucumber, lettuce. I can't think of any vegetables. Rutabaga. Uh, spinach. Waffle. Do I want to do a waffle here? Chicken and waffles? Is that too much? Chicken and waffles. I'm going to go get a different tripod for this. Because it's not working out. 
And for sneak peeks next week on September 20th, I'll be putting out the first video in my hot takes series about cricket and whether or not you need one. Also, the Procreate announcement did come out since my last video. So it turns out they're launching a brand new app called Procreate Dreams. It's strictly for making more complicated animations. The animations feature on the original version of Procreate is staying the same, so good news, I can continue my Procreate animation series that I started. This new app, the Procreate Dreams, is coming out November 22nd, and I'll be downloading and playing around with it then. I do plan on making videos about the new app, but that probably won't happen until early next year, 2024. But stay tuned for more Procreate videos coming soon. I can start those up again. After all of that, it's also Halloween season now, which is... My Halloween videos are going to be starting two weeks from now, September 27th, and we'll go through the month of October. I've got lots of fun projects planned, so I can't wait to get those videos out. Okay, that's enough for now. See you with another video. Thanks for watching.